kid who finds the first ticket fat, fat, fat. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, today we are checking out Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for the first time. Everybody knows the story and who doesn't love a bit of Johnny Depp. So let's not wait to get your chocolate wrappers at the ready and we jump straight into it. This might be the first Tim Burton film we've watched on the channel. I really want to watch Alice in Wonderland too. <laughs> But I am already starving just looking at all this chucky wocky. Why are they making it so like dramatic and tense with this music? Watching chocolate be created is like do, do, do. Oh, the golden ticket. It's actually such a good marketing idea. So that's insane. How many companies have done things similar? Whether they actually put the golden tickets even in there, who knows? It's like the lottery. They look so satisfying in that rapping. Oi, London, oi! This is a story of an ordinary little boy, Charlie Bucket. Charlie Bucket? The family was not rich or powerful. They barely had enough to eat. Poor oh, little lad. Evening, Bucket. Evening. Hi, Dad. What in God's green earth is happening in that bed? Hey, yo, let me join. I suppose there's anything extra to put in. Oh, well. Nothing goes better with cabbage than cabbage. Cabbage and cabbage soup. Still never had a soup in my entire life. Charlie's father worked in the local toothpaste factory. No, but a tube of toothpaste. A tube of I can't even speak. A tube of toothpaste is one of the most satisfying things on earth. When it's just like fresh, you don't even want to use it. <laughs> or is this just me? It's exactly what I need. What is your chat? A toothpaste lid. What? What? He's so creative. I saw Willy Wonka with my own two eyes. You did. I did. I love grapes. <laughs> what? What'd you say? But the whole world wanted his candy. I really miss these shops. I mean, not miss because I've, I've never seen one, but like, why can't there be sweet shops just like this? You are out of chocolate birds. We'll need to make some more. <laughs> but he is extra quirky. Kind of creeped out. You can even leave it lying in the sun on a hot day and it won't go runny. Sounds like magic. <laughs> Oh, hello. Grandpa, don't make it gross. Gross? Sexy. And build him a colossal palace entirely out of chocolate. What? Is he a moron? Everything will be made of either dark. So you want to walk on chocolate, sleep on chocolate, go to the toilet in chocolate? And the cement holding them together with chocolate. All the <laughs> walls and ceilings. I've been, my worst ideas are better than this. You better start eating right now. I intend to live in it. Are you a moron? Genuinely. Came a very hot day with a boiling sun. I mean, I feel like even a, the coldest day would melt it away. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't a bird. The prince sent him. Okay, well, he didn't die in his own palace, at least. He began sending in spies to steal his. Spies? Some serious business. Yeah, but I guess he must have, like, his own magic recipe. <laughs> Very secret labeled secret recipe. Now nah, I'm pretty sure Willy Wonka's smart. Like he'd have a few psyops, like fake recipes to give to people. It's like other companies will make it and their whole house blows up. They told every single one of his workers to go home with closing his chocolate factory. Them all because these little spies. Gotta protect the secrets. It's open right now. So I'm growing up say forever. There Feel like I've eaten nothing but cabbage soup forever. Well, how are you still alive then? Back in business. Did you get your job back? No. Yeah, what does it look like, kid? We're eating cabbage soup, all right? Need <laughs> to rub it in. Ever seen a single person going into that factory? Oh uh, yeah, me actually. It's actually really comfy on this giant bed. I'd give anything in the world just to go in one more time. Aww. I gotta get that ticket. No one can. That little factory of yours, Charlie, is as close as any of us is ever going to get. I'll give it like. 15 minutes. I think it's time you let your grandparents get some sleep. Do they actually sleep opposite though? I mean, <laughs> having a lot of foot fights across each other, interlinked toes before they sleep. Nothing's impossible, Charlie. Mm. They're trying to put her as the crazy one, but she's the real truth seeker. She knows everything. She loves grapes. Grapes hold all the secrets. <laughs> the secrets of the chocolate factory. Wait, how are you not freezing? What? There's a hole in the roof and there's snow outside. Wake up in a block of ice. Dear people of the world, I've decided to allow five children to visit my factory. Oh, it's five tickets only in the whole world. But why? What does he get out of it? Surely he won something for that. Any street, in any town. Good God, they're like zombies. 
See, what a good marketing move. Every bar will be sold. <laughs> Imagine there's just no tickets even in there. Wouldn't it be something, Charlie? Find a golden ticket inside. Of course it'd be something. That's got to be a one in 20 million chance. So the ones who can afford to buy candy bars every day, our Charlie gets only one a year. One a year. Kid who finds the first ticket fat, fat, fat. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't wrong though. That guy's a pessimist, but he ain't wrong. If I taste something that is not chocolate, or peanut butter. You fat pig. <laughs> Sorry, it's so funny. I find the golden ticket. He's so hungry, he didn't even see you before he bit into it. How did you celebrate? I eat more candy. We knew Augustus would find the golden ticket. Not possible for him. <laughs> Stop eating like that, you grim little creature. What's his name, Augustus? Told you it'd be a porker. A porker. <laughs> this is amazing, oh, I love this. Veruca. Oh, another rich one. Veruca Salt. I already hate you. They, they even live in a Masonic checkboard floor house, whatever you wanna, you get what I'm saying. I'm in the nut business, you see, so I say to my workers, start shelling the wrappers off these chocolate bars instead. What? He bought thousands and thousands of boxes. Yeah, imagine if one tried to steal it. Where's my golden ticket? I want my golden ticket. My God, the amount of girls I know that are like this. And boys. Oh, she's gonna try and thief it. Oh! Gotcha, you little witch bitch. Daddy, I want another pony. This man probably spent half a million on chocolate bars and she just said, Daddy, I wanted a pony. Charlie, maybe you want to open your birthday present tonight. Chocolate bar? This whole family's so cute though, like, I feel so warm. <gasps> the chocolate bar! That'd be like, oh, what's the equivalent? I don't know. Like a Lambo for him, you know? <laughs> Except we can eat it. You mustn't feel too disappointed. Whatever happens, you'll still have the candy. Aww. Well, it is one in a quadrillion chance of how many bars there are. That's so satisfying though. Oh. I just rigged! Oh well, that's that. How do we get in then? Was he a thief one later? It's my candy bar and I'll do what I want with it. Oh, he's such a good boy. I raised him right. And he's the most deserving person for the damn ticket. Oh, I just want to cry for him. You can tell he's so upset. She thought it was Craig. <laughs> the chocolate is Craig. Third ticket was found by Miss Violet Beauregard. <laughs> Holy hell. Who did she beat up for the ticket? <laughs> I think she's killed Bill. I'm a gun tour, mostly. Switch to candy bars. She's just a driven young woman. <laughs> what? I don't know where she gets it. <laughs> I don't know where she gets it. Uh, the delivery was so good. Of course, I did have my share of trophies, mostly baton. Uh, who asked you? Come on, out of the way. Did she eat all the chocolate then? I'm so confused. What a beastly girl. <laughs> Girl. I was like, bitch. I don't know what we're talking about. Dragonflies? But wait, this is just in. The fourth golden ticket has been- Yeah, dragonflies. <laughs> oh, this is me, yes. Legend. Track manufacturing dates, offset by weather, and the derivative of the knee cane. A re- Figure it out. <laughs> what? Wait, he hacked to know what ticket that- what, what? Can you elaborate on how he found the ticket though? I'm so confused. I only had to buy one candy bar. And how did it taste? I hate chocolate. It's a good thing you're going to a chocolate factory, you ungrateful little bu- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love English families. Nothing beats an English family, I swear. Just with the insults that they talk. An angry old man is one of the funniest things you'll ever see. Like an old man in a pub, I'm talking about here. Wasn't like a vacation at all. The upswing in candy sales has led to a rise in cav- uh, Of course, automation. AI, the robots are coming. I was in a shop recently I frequently go to, and then, you know, they get rid of all the tills. It's just the self-checkouts now. Everyone knows where it's going. We'll find another job. Until then, I'll just, um, well, I'll just thin down the soup a little more. How do they actually survive? though and cabbage and water. I think that's the elixir of life. My, my secret hoard. <gasps> I have no idea what coin that is. You sure you want to spend your money on that grandpa? Yeah. Oh, what a legend. Love this guy. Bring it straight back and we'll open it together. Looks like he's about to pop his clogs or something. Maybe he's just tired, I hope. He's such a good boy, really. That's what I was saying. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, jump scare. This better be it, please. We have no more money. Are you f- 
Give us a damn thing! Oh, he's manifesting. Hold up. Hold up. Some kid in Russia found the last golden ticket. Yes, huh? it was in the paper this morning. Oh, I stupid prefer that dinner. Legend. Hey. But wait, how did that guy get the last ticket? Is that like a secret sixth one or did someone like make a fake? Oh my god. What is this made up currency though? <laughs> like Monopoly money. One one quarter scrumptious fudge mallow delight, please. But wait, if they just found the, the thing, how- wait. Ah, it's a fake, you see? Knew it. <laughs> Oh! I'd absolutely nuke my pants if that happened. Found Wonka's last golden ticket in my shop too. <laughs> He's trying to make it by himself. I'll give you fifty dollars. Fifty do- Piss off! <laughs> I'm so happy for him. But the thing is, though, surely he'd be tempted to sell it for food. I don't know. It's mine! You see how just before he got it, he's closing his eyes and manifesting, you see? Yippee! Hey! <laughs> oh my god, he's got some moves. Around the factory myself, showing you everything there is to see. Afterwards. <laughs> you little porker. Love him. With all the chocolate you could ever eat. And remember. Oh, he loves that part. You're allowed to bring one member of your family to look after you. It's crazy how it's only children that have got it, right? Is it only children allowed or something? Who is going with Charlie? I will. I take him. You leave it to me. Yeah, he deserves it. He loves Wonka. Feels well enough. Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> like 10 gritties since you got out of bed. We need the money more than we need the chocolate. I mean... You can probably get like five mil at least, don't you think? Oh, at least a million. There's plenty of money out there. They print more every day. They do, yeah. With five of them in the whole world, dummy would give this up for something as common as money. To be fair, this guy is very smart. It's like I work in the Fed, they print so much. Just take the ticket. Daddy, I want to go in. 9.59, sweetheart. Make Tango fast. <laughs> she'd say that. You little spot bitch, come here. <laughs> So he looks like he's in pain eating that, mate. Slow down. Eyes on the prize, Violet. Eyes on the prize. What prize? Only Charlie deserves it. I mean, to be fair, Augustus at least ate through all the chocolate to get to it. He kind of deserves it. Come forward. Who am I? Well, I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Is this cool or creepy? Or both? I have no idea what just happened or the symbolism of this. Death is coming. Horrible eye gouging death. Isn't that just magnificent? I was worried he was getting that finale. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, should I get his hairstyle? He's Willy Wonka. Really? What is with the goggles though? Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. <laughs> That's where TikTok sounds from. Good lord, uh, it's not what I expected. I swear the guy in the original isn't this weird. I've seen clips of him. I shake you warmly by the hand. I used to work here in the factory. Were you one of those despicable spies? No, sir. Liar, burn him. Wait, what's going to be in the factory though? Apart from chocolate. Yeah, I have a feeling there's chocolate in there. I don't know why. Just drop your coach anywhere. This is huge. What? No. <gasps> What? Oh. I don't care. <laughs> Hit her with the stick. I'm very result. <gasps> Holy hell! These children! I walk a soft loop. I love your chocolate. I can see that. <laughs> These kids, are, they're so inept socially. And you. Well, you're just lucky to be here, aren't you? And the rest of you must be there. What? Wait, have you got some serious, like, daddy and mummy issues? I mean, that would make sense. Moms and dads. <laughs> oh, good lord. The thousand yard stare. What the hell happened to you? Yeah, was this stuff, like, in, like, the book? I don't even... I don't know. I feel like this is, like, a Tim Burton spin, though. Does Wonka seem a few quarters short of a buck? I'm sorry, I don't speak American. Come on, even I understood that, you moron. Like some chocolate? Then you should just bought some. You little fat pig. Important room, this. It's to keep all the great big chocolatey flavor inside. Why, why, the door's tiny. How do we fit through that? Okay. 
There's some very satisfying colors. I am very hungry. Don't lose your heads. Don't get overexcited. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get overexcited. Waterfall is most important. It makes it light and frothy. No other factory in the world mixes its chocolate by waterfall. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine no other factory has anywhere close to this stuff. I mean, obviously, it's not real, but the set design is crazy. Well, they actually made the stuff. Those pipes suck up the chocolate. And how much for the pipe? Try some of my grass. Please have a blade. Please do. It's so delectable. What, the grass? I thought it was just chocolate. Enjoy. Wait, what would I eat first? I'd got to try the grass first. Uh, uh, what is that on the inside? Dad. Please. Dad, he said enjoy. Why are you so angry? Why well, hold on to it? Because then I wouldn't be a champion. <laughs> you little evil sod. This poor guy's gonna get eaten up in this group though. Oh dear god, it's Godzilla! Run the chocolate snacks! <laughs> Dude, the food's not running. Why is he so aggressive with it? He thinks he's gonna leave him. Over there, by the waterfall. Why is tiny? These are the Oompa Loompas. Who are they? Well, they're Oompa Loompas, direct from Loompa Land. There's no such place. I teach high school geography. Yes, so you know you tell people the wrong stuff. Leaving out Oompa Loompa Land. It was right next to Atlantis. The whole place is nothing but thick jungles infested by the most dangerous beasts in the entire world. You respect this guy though. He went out of his own way to explore and find the stuff. They lived in tree houses to escape from the fierce creatures who lived below. You Oompa Loompas ate nothing but green caterpillars was to make them taste better. <laughs> That's some serious drip. The caterpillars. How small are they? They look like three foot. Mm. Why'd you have to eat it so weirdly? Oh, how they craved them. Praying to it. A coca bean cult. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, the coca bean god, what? So I told the chief. They are such wonderful workers. That's a good deal though. It's not like slavery or anything, they get exactly what they want. Not the good thing you do. I'll fall in, I beg. Karma, get him. Ah! You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he fell in the toilet. I don't think anyone's strong enough to drag him out of chocolate. Wait, did he plan this? Is he like a serial killer? It's just child abduction, tempted by the sweet sugar. <laughs> he actually can't fit in the tube. It isn't big enough, it's gonna stick. No, the way I would have a panic attack so bad, I think I would die. Can you imagine like this? Look, the Oompa Loompas. What are they doing? They're vibing, obviously. <laughs> Why are they singing though? <laughs> it's so random, I love it. They got a new child for sacrifice! Hey! 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 <laughs> Just like they do at Bohemian Grove. Gustus Gloop, the great big greedy nincompoop. <laughs> I also greedy foul and infantile. They're not wrong though. Oh, what if it's like the seven sins, each of them or something? I know there's only five, but like. <laughs> hey, you gotta give respect to this actor though. Playing every single Oompa Loompa. Like, how many times do they have to film him doing stuff? That's so impressive. A miracle has taken place, loved by people everywhere. <laughs> hey, kinda sexy. <laughs> Dude, that'd be terrifying. He does deserve it though. Contaminating the chocolate. Some greasy sausage fingers. So this film is actually a horror film. There's a much creepier element at play. I do say that all seemed rather rehearsed. But they knew it was gonna happen. Oh, puppycock. To be fair, that's true, yeah. I didn't think about that. I want you to take Mrs. Gloop up to the fudge room. Help her find her son. Imagine being called Mrs. Gloop. Whoever I married, I'd be like, nah, you know, I'm keeping my name. But they're so small. Wait, that's barely like two feet and so thin. My foot might be bigger. Unless Improvisation is a part of trick. Anyone can do it. No, he definitely planned it. He's kidnapping children. Chewing gum is really gross. Chewing gum I hate the most. See? <laughs> I feel like he hates kids. So why the hell did he even do this thing? That boy will be fine. <laughs> He's like, I know what happened to the spies they caught. You don't want to mess with Wonka. 
Everything in this is so cool. Again, you guys will have to tell me. It's some, I've only seen like images of the original, whatever. Like how much of this is Tim Burton's brain connects to the ether or is this just the original? And it's like Roald Dahl's brain. The chocolate contains a property that triggers the release of endorphins. Gives one the feeling of being in love. You don't say. Whoa! All aboard. <laughs> She's like, I don't have to win this competition. Onward! Oh, he chose to sit next to us. We're already gonna win. He definitely knows we're not spoiled. He loves us. All right, who's next? Predictions. Hmm. Veruca or maybe Mike TV's next. I don't know. Try some of this. It'll do you good. You look starved to death. <laughs> he does. Get him a burger. Chocolate burger. You're all quite short, aren't you? Well, yeah. I'm not. I'm six four actually. Which I said that recently on a video. I thought everyone kind of knew this. No. I mean, check out my Instagram. Someone's school screen. Do you even remember what it was like being a kid? Oh boy, do I. Usually my best memories. I'm still a little kid. Yeah, why is he obsessed with candy? Ruthie, Veronica, and who's that under the sheet? Little Willy Wonka. What? Wait, did people actually have- What is that invention? That's a torture device. Most famous dentist, Wilbur Wonka. Your dad was a dentist, oh my god. Hey, most dentists don't even know a thing they're talking about. Genuinely. I think there's so many things though, right? Why would they want to cure you? They want to keep you coming back. It just makes sense, no? Caramel. They'd get stuck in your braces, wouldn't they? Listen, please don't cast a spell on me, all right? I just wanted some sugar, okay? Don't summon them all and do all the- Lollipops. <laughs> Lollipops. <laughs> some children are allergic to chocolate. Well, I guess some people are allergic to water, so it makes sense. I could try a piece. But why take a chance? You're scary. What the hell is that about? I think I watched an interview with that actor though. He's like heavy in the occult stuff. That's why he's the I don't well, Sarah Man, that's it. Yeah, it's probably why they chose him. Who knows? <laughs> okay, how are we not drenched in chocolate? And I'd pay so much to go on this ride if it existed. Passing some very important rooms here. Hair cream? What do you use hair cream for? To lock in moisture. <laughs> <laughs> this girl's an idiot, come on. Because they're looking moisture. Uh, Whipped cream? Precisely. Uh -huh. It doesn't make sense. It's so hard to explain how this film makes you feel, though. It's like relaxed, intrigued. Oh, a thousand, a thousand descriptions I can give. Now this is the most important room in the entire factory. Everyone enjoy yourselves. Just don't touch anything. Yeah, something's gonna blow up if you touch it in here. <laughs> There's such weird ways of making the stuff, like, you'd think this is just for show. These are everlasting gob stoppers. You can suck on it all year, and it'll never get any smaller. <laughs> Isn't that neat? It's like... That's how it works. Uh, yeah, and that means I'll marry you. <laughs> what? They sure do taste terrific. To be fair, though, no one actually likes a gobstopper. No one's like, oh, I really feel like a gobstopper today. One of those things you do, like, three times, never again. Brand new crop of hair will start growing out all over the top of your little noggin. Who wants a beard? Well... Beatniks for one. Makes me look older, I love it. Some people love it, especially. Up to the job, can you dig what I'm laying down? I slide me some skin, so brother. What? He just kind of give me the Michael Jackson vibes. And they both have the gloves. But tried some yesterday. <laughs> 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 it's Chewbacca. So he's trying to make like cures for everything. I thought it was just nice chocolate. <laughs> All that for a juicy fruit gum? You mean that's it? It's gum. It's gum. How about you shut up? You're pissing me off. Sorry, these kids are making me angry. Three course dinner all by itself. <laughs> Why would anyone want that? Like in calories or just taste? Chewing gum and that is all you will ever need at breakfast, lunch and dinner. Now that's my dream. I hate the act of eating. It takes me hours. It's so long. I'm trying to eat to fuel this machine. Believe me, it's a lot of effort. I'm the world record holder in chewing gum. I'm not afraid of anything. Oh, she's gonna explode. I think it's they're all voluntarily like messing up their lives. Spit it out. Young lady, I think you'd better. It's changing. A baked potato. Baked potato! What's happening to her nose? Oh dear God. She's turning into a blueberry. Her nose has gone purple. Violet. <laughs> oh, she's loving it. Veruca, the only girl left. I didn't guess she'd be next. I got it wrong. <laughs> Yeah, so either she's turning into a blueberry or she's trying to get cast in an avatar. Oh, X-Men. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Hey, look at that dumpy. Good God. Yeah, I know she's a kid. It's a joke. Relax. 
<laughs> what Gustus Gloop's soul has got into her body? I mean, that's crazy. How has the clothes not snapped? Oh, what a musical break. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this definitely isn't scripted. I didn't know this was going to happen. This might be a child slave ring at this point. <laughs> That's the jammer. That's the best song so far. But to be fair, the glue one was sick. It's actually a musical. Go regard into the boat and take her along to the juicing room at once. The juicer? Like a little pimple. We gotta squeeze all that juice out of her immediately. He's a honey man, huh? <laughs> Come on, let's boogie. Let's boogie. Now who's next? Now it's gotta be Mike TV or Veruca. Well, wait, how many are left? Three? Oh, well, it has to be them too. Okay, Mike TV then. What's the special prize if you get it? Best kind of prize is a surprise. <laughs> I never actually realized, yeah, the word prize isn't surprise. If you hate dumb so much, why do you make it? Yeah, I mean, have you seen Breaking Bad? Do you think Walter White loves meth? <laughs> he got addicted quick. But he actually got obsessed mixing flavors. Oh, that looks good. Oh my god. Does any of these sweet shops still exist? I'd love to go to one just to see how they work. These flashbacks happen often? Increasingly. Depends how good it was. I mean, uh. The room I know all about. I myself am in the nut business. Are you? <laughs> oh my god, it's squirrels. I love squirrels. Oh, that's so cute. I used to love feeding them by hand in my garden as a kid. Right, so who's going down the nut chute? It's gotta be Mike. Oh, actually, no, 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 sorry. It's gonna be Veruca, yeah, because their family's the nut business. What am I saying? Oh, look, look. I think that one's got a bad nut. I want one. All I've got at home is one pony and two dogs and four cats and six bunny rabbits and two parakeets and three canaries and a green parrot and a turtle and a silly old hamster. I want a squirrel. All right. Is that all you have? This has got to be greed. Name your price. 10 billion? She can't have one. That's the first time she's been told no. Dude, she's a good actress. I'm scared of her. I'm sorry, darling. Mr. Wonka is being unreasonable. <laughs> What? What the hell was that? Again, all these kids are voluntarily going to their demise. Have you not seen what's happened to the last two idiot- <sighs> You stupid wart. Ruka, come back here at once. Yeah, clearly you have all the power in the family. Come back here at once. She runs the family. Don't touch that squirrel's nuts. It'll make him crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you touch my nuts, it makes me a bit cra <laughs> crazy about you. I'll have you. <laughs> Just an add to a moron. I'm sure a part of the dad's loving this, like finally. This little wallet hole is gonna die now. Well these squirrels are strong. Oh god, I think she's a walnut. She is bad nut after all. <laughs> of course she is. She's called Veruca. Sorry, Veruca, if you're watching, but I would get a name change. Where does the shoot go? To the incinerator. I told you this guy goes to Bohemian Grove, sacrifice <laughs> setting children on fire. How much can I say without getting, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and to be fair, she got like the best one. I'd rather that than being put in a chocolate tube or turned into a blueberry. Yeah, there's a much sinister feel, I think, if you had that perspective of this film. Is it the fun and hilarious or horrifying? <laughs> and these guys are already on cue with the lyrics and outfit. <laughs> Which one's the best song? You can't beat the chewing, chewing on and on. Guilty ones, now this is sad and lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange scene. I've just been informed that the incinerator's broken, so there should be about three weeks of rotten garbage to break their fall. How very lucky. No child sacrifice today. The elevator's by far the most efficient way to get around. There can't be this many floors. Whoa, look at all the floors. What's the square footage on this place? Oh, look! Look! 
Sage Mountain. I also want to know, how could he afford this stuff before he made the cho- Oh no, he started out as a small shop, right? But still, surely the first sweets were somewhat impressive. <laughs> This would be so much for my brain if I was in that lift. Oh my god. Oh, this is right up Mike TV's alley. Wait, why are we testing chocolate warfare? Why is everything here completely pointless? Candy doesn't have to have a point. It's stupid. Candy is a waste of time. Oh god. Flashbacks. The candy capitals of the world. But I won't be here when you come back. Then I'll cast a spell from my tower, boy. Oh, and he's, um, what's his name? Uh, Dooku. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's lightsaber bro. Where the hell did your house go? Offered a rocket? I'm so confused. I want a bigger room. Go ahead. TV room. Of course he'd pick that one. But yeah, I'm still baffled how there's like a thousand different things. And it's not just chocolate. Here. Oh, give me a pair of those glasses. Instead of whizzing through the air, then reassemble it on the other end. And why can't I do the same thing with chocolate? There's probably a million reasons why you can't do that. Sounds impossible. It is impossible. You don't understand anything about science. Well, like the woman in the bed who said, nothing is impossible. Be like nine atomic bombs. Mumbler! <laughs> Seriously. I cannot understand a single word you're saying. I know sometimes I do mumble. So these headphones, when I can't hear myself very well, which I can't, with the loud fit, I do mumble, so sorry. I will try and articulate. Bring in the chocolate. Are they extra tiny or is that giant bar? It's gotta be real big. You know how on TV you can film a regular sized man and he comes out looking this tall? Same basic principle. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's the, the laws of science. He already is a magician though. I guess food is magical. It's gone! Rushing through the air above our heads in a million tiny little pieces. Come on! So like he sent the chocolate bar as a text to the TV? Here it comes. It replaced the obelisk! That is weird though. Like how did he actually do that? Only. Buckets. Holy buckets? I mean, holy sh. Oh, it hurts my teeth. Don't do that. So, can you send other things? Breakfast cereal? Do you have any idea what breakfast cereal is made of? I was about to say that. Really, wooden shavings you find in pencil sharpeners. I, I wouldn't say that, though, but not like chocolate's any better. And all you think about is chocolate. He has no idea. He's a genius, but he's an idiot. No, he is a genius. You're just an arrogant little twerp. <laughs> Like, these kids are so stupid. They've seen every other child be sacrificed. What are you doing? That's a little zesty for me, though. I sure hope no part of him gets left behind. Yo, wait, he's gonna be really miniature now. Like, he ate a blue mushroom. Oh my god. He's smaller than Loompa Loompa. Oh god! Hey, someone put me in that TV channel. <laughs> Who made this? Tim, you're a crazy man, Tim. What were you sm What were you smoking, Tim? This actress actually stealing the film. Completely carrying. <laughs> Help me, please! Sounds like Theodore. There is no other way. Did he or did he not go in there voluntarily though? Here's his fault. Let's go put him in the taffy puller. Taffy puller? Hey, that was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is so creepy though. Wait, how is this film almost done? I've been so absorbed. Wait, wait, literally, it's not that long left. Jeez, I've been in a trance. How many children are left? Charlie's the only one left. He's such a good boy, he deserves it all. Give him the prize. What happened to the others? You know what happened, you set all the traps up. <laughs> Sacrificial pact. Means you've won! The great glass elevator to speed things along. <laughs> I do have a question though. Is that his real hair that he had to live with for the whole shoot? Or is it just a wig? It's probably just a wig. Unless he takes the hat off when we have a look. I've been longing to press that button for years. Up and out! <laughs> I fully trust him with everything though. Like he's crazy, but I'd let him, I'd follow him into a volcano, you know, if he said it's safe. 
That is weird though now. How did the G-Force not like, it flies to the top of the lift. Please don't eat your fingers. But I taste so good. <laughs> you fat porker. This insulin must be crazy. Wait, she looks like she loves that. Oh my, what? She's got no bones left. Much more flexible now. Yes, but you're blue. Well, her name is Violet. Is Violet a shade of blue? I don't know. I thought it was purple. Daddy, I want to find Glass Elevator. Because the only thing you're getting today is a bath, and that's fine. The only thing you're getting is a smack bottom, young lady. I will sit on the naughty step now. Where do you live? That little house. Do you think they'll be back? Any minute. <laughs> ah! How are you gonna pay for that roof, boy? I think there's someone at the door. <laughs> My mom! This is Willy Wonka. He gave us a ride home. A ride into the home. Must be the boys. <laughs> he says Charlie's won something. I'm gonna give this little boy my entire factory. What? Why doesn't he want it anymore? Because you see, a few months ago, I was having my semi-annual haircut. <laughs> semi-annual? Two times a year? How does it not grow? In that one silver hair, I saw reflected my life's work. Oh, you're aging. Oh, no. I must find a hair. <laughs> That's a good one. But aren't you like 35 or something? Why don't you want to take the chocolate factory now? Are you ready to leave all this behind and come live with me at the factory? Oh, come live with you? My family come too. Of course they can't. You can't run a chocolate factory with a family hanging over you like an old dead goose. No offense. None taken. Jeff. Oh, got him, jerk. A look at me. I had no family and I'm a giant success. Financially, yes, but other ways. Yeah, come live with me, little boy. I'll take care of you. That's what he's saying. More child sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, why his hair looks like two coca beans, actually? Sure, that's intentional. I didn't even realize. But I suppose in that case, I'll just goodbye then. What? Give us some money. Hey, you broke the roof. Things are going to get much better. They can't get worse. Let's be fair, she is the smartest one in the story. Things have never been better for the Bucket family. Whoa, how have we got money for food? Oh, the job, what am I saying? <laughs> no more cabbage soup, hooray. Candy's always been the only thing I was ever... <laughs> <laughs> I've always made whatever candy I felt like, and I, that's just it, isn't it? Now I feel terrible, so the candy's terrible. You're very good. <laughs> to be fair, though, I do think, like, 90% of the, the best therapy you can get is them asking a question. You're just talking to yourself and you figure it out. That is it. The answer's been all, within all of us. We, we know what to do. What do you have against my family? Your family. It's the whole idea of... <laughs> Just telling you what to do, what not to do, and it's not conducive to a creative atmosphere. Well, yeah, when you're young, but like at your age, it's not like your family going to be telling you exactly what to do. I mean, they do always try, I mean, even to me, to be fair. But why is that? So what, what, when his health disappeared as a child, where the hell did it go? Is it like up with the balloons? Looks exactly the same age you did 20 years ago. Open. Let's see what the damage is, shall we? He's actually got some pretty good teeth, I think. Oh, no, dentists are scary though, actually. Ah, uh, when they clink the tools against your, oh. Fillings are the what, oh my God. Uh, still got my wisdom teeth though. I'm keeping them. He kept all his son's stuff. That's cute. I haven't seen by cuspids like these since, since, will he? <laughs> the name's so funny when you say it without Wonka. Willie? All these years and you haven't flossed. <laughs> Aww. It's all a film about family, huh? Just like Fast and Furious. And don't drink out of chocolate rivers. Stay to dinner, Willie. Yes, please. It's so cute though and wholesome. I want to be part of this family. I love peanuts. You smell like old people. <laughs> I like it. Oh, he's trying to rizz out. Oh, get in there, my son. Hands up, though. She's mine. I'm going to buy her some grapes. With licorice instead of string. Boys, no business at the dinner table. No business talk at the table. Come on. Eat your peas. I can't wait to watch the new film when that comes out now, actually. It can't top this. There's no way. This is actually so fun. You gotta smash like if you uh, enjoyed this one, and I'll do other Tim Burton's. I like the land, all that stuff. That's something even better. Whoa, what the? Oh, the house is in the... Oh, that's sick. One thing was absolutely certain. Life had never been sweeter. Well, yeah, better than poverty. I mean, Jesus. They can actually eat something that's not cabbage soup. So that does it for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. 
It's pretty hard to describe this film in a few words, but it was just a lot crazier than I thought, a lot more creative, and I absolutely loved it. But please do let me know what you guys thought of this film, and if you did want to watch the full movie along with me, but you don't need a copy, you can find that on my Patreon in the description below. And if you did enjoy this, please smash that like button and subscribe for more. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.